Hi there guys, it's Rick here and welcome to the latest episode of Shred Training. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. Uh, I also hope you enjoyed that arpeggio sequence at the start of the video. Um, I really enjoy playing this kind of thing. You may well have noticed. <laughs> um, so we're going to do a breakdown of that particular arpeggio sequence. Um, just a little background of this kind of thing. Uh, at the moment I'm exploring these arpeggios a lot. I really love the sound of them and uh, the influence behind this kind of thing, I'm listening to a lot of um, Chopin piano music at the moment and I really love those kind of arpeggio flurries so I'm kind of trying to replicate, not exactly the same thing of course, but I'm just influenced by that kind of sound so I want to do it in a you know kind of guitaristic way um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah it's just great so that's that's really the influence behind um, these kind of patterns. So let's get straight to the breakdown. It's in E major. Okay, we're going to start fret 12, the bottom E, and I slide into it. We're going to play this. That's the first part of the sequence, so nice and slowly. You can pick it however you want, you know, um, it doesn't really matter as long as you're getting the sound that you're going for, you know, and I think you should prioritize that above, you know, speed or anything. Um, you know, it's because it's the way that you articulate what you play that really, really matters, you know. So anyway, babbling on a bit. That's the first part. Um, then this is where the fun begins. We're going to play an extended E major arpeggio. So you know this, if you watch my series a lot, you'll know this kind of shape because I do this extended shape a lot. So we have to get that stretch on the top E string and tap at 24 and then pull off. At this point, we're gonna pull off to 13, hammer on and then slide into the next position. Okay, uh, at speed, that's gonna take quite a bit of practice to get fluid, it's quite difficult. Um, so that sets us up for the next arpeggio, which is an F sharp minor, it's actually an F sharp minor seven arpeggio with a tap in it, uh, which is this. Okay, that's the thing I love about these arpeggios on the upper register, you can create a lot of color by adding different extensions with the tap notes and you know, extra fingers just change the shapes a little bit and you can make some really colorful, colorful sounds, you know, with these. So, F sharp minor seven again. Same as we did before at this point. That's gonna take us to a G sharp minor arpeggio. But this time we're gonna change the upper register of it and we're gonna play, so we're gonna play root, third, fourth, and then tap the fifth. Okay, 16. 19, 21, 23, okay? Then go to descend as you would, uh, just a straight G sharp minor shape here. But this time we're gonna play. Okay, so. And then that takes us to the next arpeggio, which is a, an A major arpeggio. And we're gonna ascend through it like this. On the top, we're going to uh, play the root, second, third, and then tap the fifth, okay? Now we're going to pull off to the sixth degree here at the bottom. Great sound, that's kind of like a minor seven thing. Um, what we're going to do here is hammer on uh, and go back up 16. 18, 19, then we're going to play an A minor arpeggio. And at the top we're going to do roots, second, third, fifth. So we kind of like got a, a nice melodic minor vibe going on here. Pull off to 
to the open string, then back on and we're going to play thirds, but tap at the top. Okay, the next shape, just move it down a step. Okay. Again, down a step, so. Okay, and then we're going to play this shape. Okay, so from here. Whoops. So from here, what we got here? 14, 17, 20, 24. Make sure you get these taps. Hammer on here at fret 16, hammer on at fret 17, pull off to 14, uh, fret 16, and then I literally just uh, hybrid pick that top here. Make sure you let them bleed together for that sound. Okay, now the next part, which I really enjoy, is this little chord sequence here. And we're just gonna move the root, so we got, okay. Um, and all I'm doing is sliding the first finger down a fret, and then moving the whole thing down a tone. To the D, uh, sorry, the E. Okay, and that's the whole sequence. Um, it's a lot of practice, but it's a hell of a lot of fun doing so. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Shred Training and stay tuned for the next one coming very soon. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and uh, share the video wherever you can. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care, see you soon.